Hello everyone, I'm Ernesto Padilla of Padilla Cigars and I've been asked by the guys at Standard & Twain to do a little video about the Padilla Artifacto that hopefully you've smoked with uh, your subscription to Standard & Twain. Uh, briefly, if you don't know, Padilla Cigars have been around for 20 years. I've been in the industry a few years before I started the brand 20 years ago with my brother. I'm originally from Cuba. I came to the United States when I was six years old. My family were tobacco growers, uh, originally from Spain, and I've been fortunate to be in the U.S. since. I've also been fortunate to uh, work with some great cigar makers, um, everyone from Pepin Garcia, the Oliva family, uh, A.J. Fernandez, uh, many times before they became kind of household names in the cigar world. And uh, that brings us to the Padilla Artifacto. About four years ago, a friend of mine from Europe said he wanted to start a cigar factory in Nicaragua. Uh, having been in the business and seen all the challenges and issues and things that re are required to do that, I uh, tried to discourage him. He didn't listen, thank God. And uh, today, in about, well, in a couple of weeks here, uh, speaking to you in January 2023 uh, his new factory is about to open uh, quietly we've been doing a ton of cigars for the European market um, great stuff and that's what you're smoking now the Padilla Artifacto is uh, something that I'm very proud of um, one of the things we wanted to do since I'm still a small boutique company was reach out directly to a lot of consumers so we've done an e-commerce website mostly just to reach out across the United States is focus on the US market I don't sell online internationally uh, we have distributors internationally in many countries Europe from Europe Africa and Asia um, so the Padilla Artifacto 100% Nicaraguan Corojo from the Jalapa Valley this is the uh, valley that is most similar to Pinar del Rio in Cuba the profile is going to have a sweet honeysuckle finish. You're going to have uh, some of the intensity of uh, the blend having some Condega, which is a blend of uh, two other, uh, I would say characteristically, it's two regions, Jalapa, which I just described, and Esteli, which is a little bit earthier, spicier, fuller bodied. The, uh, the blend uh, was a take on uh, cigars our family smoked in Cuba. Um, and uh, that's the original Padilla Artifacto Corojo and then we also have the Padilla Artifacto San Andreas which has a beautiful Maduro San Andreas wrapper medium bodied um, and if I told you the price point you'd be kind of shocked but the idea was to get you familiar with Padilla cigars um, and see what our capabilities are uh, Aganorsa which I describe is a great tobacco grower also Cuban descent um, and they've done a great job putting a lot of these farms together we worked with them before 20 years ago when uh, they would still worked with uh, Pepin Garcia so um, anyway I'm up to three minutes here on this video I hope you enjoy it we've got a lot more stuff coming out from Padilla and thank you again for enjoying Padilla cigars great job to the guys at Standard and Twain really loved the concept of the club stay with it I think you're gonna discover some great cigars be well.